We have seen cybersecurity attacks blamed for everything from taking over bank accounts to shutting down local government computer systems. Maritime cybersecurity is also a real concern. You know, if you block a certain port by, by something going aground or, or something happening where they're designed to not be somewhere, uh, you, can, you can really shut down. Again, we talked about the global economy. If, if you blocked our port, you could, you could truly impact a lot. As our crime and safety analyst, the likelihood of a maritime cyber attack has caught the eye of President Biden, who recently signed an executive order that expands the Coast Guard's authority to combat cybersecurity threats to vessels, ports, harbors, even technology that guides ships through channels. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avignet rode with the Coast Guard today and joins us live to explain what he learned. Eric. Well, I learned maritime security. I learned that maritime cybersecurity threats are no joke. Not only can they threaten our global economy, but those same threats can also threaten those, those same threats can also threaten the safety of people on board ships. This is one of many buoys in the St. Johns River near the ports that the Coast Guard is responsible for. Buoys have automatic identification systems, or AIS, which are equipped with global positioning data. The AIS transmits a signal to digital charts used by mariners. The charts let mariners know if they are navigating in deep enough waters as they approach or disembark a port. Coast Guard member Michael Baldy says if the AIS is hacked, large cargo ships could end up navigating into shallow water. So if any of those positions were to change, it may affect the, the marine transportation being able to safely navigate the waters in certain areas. Vessels weighing more than 300 tons are also required to have an AIS, which contains information like the ship's name, last and next port of call, speed and transit route, as well as the ship's current location. What happens if something like that gets hacked into? If AIS is hacked into, it could affect major ports and knowing when certain boats are to arrive and when the pilot vessels need to meet certain boats out at sea to safely navigate the rivers to offload their material. That could cause delays in getting shipped goods to the port, which causes delays in loading those goods onto trucks and trains, which also delays the delivery of those goods to stores and home addresses. But cybersecurity threats are not just limited to the AIS and buoys and cargo ships. Jack's Port is one of the biggest and busiest ports in the nation. Given that fact, it's also a potential target for cyber crooks. Jack's Port is ranked the 10th largest container port in the U.S. and the largest vehicle handling port in Florida. Retired JSO Homeland Security Director turned News for Jack's crime and safety analyst Tom Hackney says a maritime cyber attack here would impact our local and global economy. To have that impacted anyway by some kind of cyber attack could, could really shut down so many things. The Jack's Port Authority issued a statement on cybersecurity threats. It reads in part, cyber threats can impact the global supply chain at many levels. Thus, Jack's Port takes cybersecurity very seriously. The port has been working to enhance cybersecurity for many years and has served as a leader in this area for the maritime industry. The statement goes on to say, we are grateful for the Coast Guard's support and leadership as they are a strong partner for us in protecting the movement of cargo through Jacksonville. President Biden recently signed an executive order that expands the Coast Guard's ability to address maritime cyber threats. A spokesperson for Jack's Port said cybersecurity is a top priority to ensure cargo keeps moving and people in North Florida keep working. Reporting live, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station. Thank you.